Hey, what's up? It's uh, my third video of the day. I'm here in the uh, master bathroom. There's the jet tub rolling through the bedroom. I, I got to tell you something. I have never in my life been exposed to uh, this kind of group of people. I'm, uh, I started up the uh, sauna, did a little bit of laundry. Um, listen, I got to tell you something. Those of us that live in reality, we don't have to participate in your fucking delusions. Now, I, this is new to me, so if I sound like a, a dinosaur, you gotta, you gotta just, just let me get this off. Um, I just finished probably a 35-minute discussion with... Now, I'm going to have to, uh, I think they're called LARPers. There were about uh, 15 of them online talking about um, airsoft tournaments and uh, live action role playing. And that's evidently a thing. And I was like, listen, um, I don't know if you know much about the military, but in uh the Marine Corps, I'm not sure if they're still called it, but the infantry is called 0311. You don't get to... Anyways, I'll just... I'll try to uh, not be able the subject, but come on. Get the fuck out of here. I, I, and, and there are tears. There are tears to every part of the military, and you can try out to be a, t a tier one operator. Now... You have the, um, now there's a group in the Marine Corps called Force Recon, and they are some bad motherfuckers. Um, and listen, if you're a LARPer and you're listening to this, you better fucking pay attention because, uh, again, these guys are stone cold killers. All the people I'm talking about right now, and let me tell you something, I was an EOD sergeant, I tried out. Three fucking times for Delta Force. I even tried out one time, my third time, for the uh, EOD uh, support cell. I just wasn't fucking good enough. And I am I'm a big guy. I'm a strong guy. I can run. I can shoot, fight. and uh, What do they call it? Uh, shoot, move, and communicate. Anyways, all right. So you start off, and you may be in the uh, Marine Corps. And the Marine Corps has 0311. That's their infantry guys. Those dudes are all trained killers. Let me say this again. They are all trained killers. Their job in the military is to determine where the enemy is, close the distance, and then destroy them. Now, right above those guys, they got these guys called Force Recon. And the Force Recon Marines are, are guys like, we keep in a fucking cage, right? And we poke them and we don't feed them for a couple days and fuck with them. And then we let them go in your backyard. <laughs> and they're hard to get back in their cage. I, you know, right, so I'm talking to these LARPers and they're talking to me about how the, you know, and, and then they're showing me pictures of their equipment. They don't even have their shit. No, no. Anyways, all right. Let me finish. Let me go on to the other one. Um, now, I, I bag on the Air Force a lot, but the Air Force has combat air controllers. And they have PJs, the guy that go rescue the pilots. Those are some fucking badass guys. And uh, I, 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 you know, I love bagging on the Air Force. I call it the Chair Force and that. But they have some fucking badass dudes in there. And they have some people that are in their uh, security police departments who are special ops uh, dealing with counterterrorism and the rest of that. So let's just move on. Let's move on now to the people who are not really in the military, but they are, you know, I'm just fucking bagging on them. The Navy. The Navy has. They have their EOD guys, like me, but their EOD guys are in special ops, and they got the fucking SEALs. And if you want to talk about, you can't just, anybody can try out to be a fucking SEAL, and that is, but they are tier one. The SEALs are tier one fighters, and these fucking LARPers or live action role playing people said, yeah, we could take them on. <laughs> look, look, I just, I just, let me not, let me go and tell you about uh, the only, the most people lost in combat operations during any of our wars are Marines, 
an army personnel. So uh, I came in to the military uh, back in the day as an 11 X-ray, which means I was an infantry unassigned, which means they could have made me a wheel on a pickup, and I would have to. I just got to tell you something. 11 Bravos, 11 Series MOS, Mortarmen, all of those guys, heavy weapons, all those guys. They are trained killers. Now, I'm, I'm, don't, don't get this wrong. They are trained killers. Now, you want to go just a tier above them, the Rangers. The Rangers are like the Force Recon guys. The Rangers are... I remember being stationed at Fort Lewis and being in Spanaway. Uh, trying to get on to Fort Lewis, and like 15 miles from the base, there's fucking a uh, company, uh, 150 guys running in formation with white t-shirts, you know, boots on, that kind of stuff. The fucking rangers. Uh, rangers, man, rangers are fucking badasses. And to act like they're not is just, well, good luck with that. If you're in a bar, don't pick a fight with the fucking ranger. Man. Just, he's just a little fucking tab. Now, there's a difference between being a scrolled ranger and being a tabbed ranger. Tabbed ranger made it through RIP, Ranger Indoctrination Pro Program, as well as the school. Now, a scrolled ranger means he was in one of the units and he served in combat. So uh, if you see a guy with a little tab, that means he went to ranger school, unless he's a, he's a fucking bitch-ass motherfucker and just wearing the shit, acting like he is. There's a lot of you fake fucks out there. You know, you cooks by day. Nah, let me let me not get sidetracked. Uh, anyway. But if they got a scroll, and it'll tell what regiment they were in, and that, that means those motherfuckers were face-to-face -face in combat. And rangers and our infantry are blunt force weapons, man. You want to take an airfield? Do you know what they do? They just, they and again, they keep the rangers in a cage like the force recon guys. They poke them and they buck with them. And then they turn them loose in your backyard. <laughs> they just motherfuckers. <laughs> Anyways, I, I spent some time around them. They are, they are some of the nicest guys. But um, when it's time to fight, that's no mercy, no pity, anything else. Now, we take a tier above the Rangers, and you get into special operations, special forces. And there's different groups. I bumped around with a group in, in Central and South America, and that's only because they didn't have EOD guys. I would love to tell you that I was an SF EOD guy, but no. No, I wasn't. Uh, they just they just had me there because I could do some things that they couldn't do. And then they started sending their guys to EOD school, so they were like, and that's why I tried out. But literally, I wasn't physically good enough. So you got infantry, and you can have a, and they are trained killers. And then above that, you get the rangers. And then above that, you got the special forces. And then above that, you have what's called the unit. And that's Delta Force. Oh, man, I tried out. Man, I can't even fuck tell you. When I tried out, they sent our ass over to uh, West Virginia to do these fucking uh, orientation classes, which is just map reading and, and movement to contact and movement to an, uh, look. Anyway, it's a fucking night. Man, they ain't fucking going up my and then. Those motherfuckers, and just like the SEALs and Delta Force, they don't know they're supposed to quit. <laughs> they don't know they're supposed to. Anyways, anyways, I, I, I promise you, I hope to God at some point in time in my life, I get to see a bunch of uh, live action role playing in the division. They were like, hey, man, we're hard. We're hard, man. And I was like, well, what are you studying? I'm studying gender studies. I'm, uh, I'm in math. Uh, math science, I'm going to become a teacher, and these are, and some of them are fat and out of shape, and I'm just like, man, you don't even fucking want it, <laughs> all right, listen, um, I, I just, I just had to get this, I cannot tell you, um, and Fort Bliss is right here, and Fort Bliss has some stone cold killers on there, um, uh, when you join the military, everyone, at all levels, is taught how to kill. And you can blow them off and that kind of stuff. But then there are those in the military that are specialized killers. There are guys that work with heavy weapons. Look, you don't want us to turn our guys loose on some poor unsuspecting LARPer. 
I cannot imagine. Can you imagine them activating a Ranger Battalion and going up to Portland and dealing with the Antifa in that area? <laughs> and you have to. When you get in there, the Rangers and uh, the Special Forces guys, the SF guys, the infantry guys, the 0311 infantry guys, uh, although they fight to win and they're willing to do whatever it wants. They have families, but they're professional soldiers and... and Anyways, I will uh, let this go. I just, I just, <laughs> fuck out of here. We don't have to participate in your delusions now. Bah. Anyways, it's just fucking hilarious. I, I, I did, to, before, uh, probably uh, an hour and a half ago, I had no idea what LARPing was. And these are people that actually believe that they're as good as our soldiers. And on top of that, not our tier one soldiers, but you know, or ninjas. They're ninja. Fuck. God, I wish, please somebody come up with a TV show or a series or a movie where you have to, as a bunch of civilians, take on a professional, mechanized, infantry-oriented military. I mean, did you just... <laughs> We're not even throwing in the Air Force, you know, the pilots. How about the Navy pilots? Oh, my God. How about the artillery? How about the King of Battle? How about the... I'm sorry. I just... I just. And how do you, how do you argue... Look, I, I remember the oil fires, oil fires in Kuwait. I remember... Anyways, you, I have seen war on an industrial level, industrial scale. And it is nothing like these people were portraying in their videos, these uh, LARPers. Um, you know what? Again, lastly, none of us have to participate in any of your fucking delusions. <laughs> and if you want to go to war, hey, John Brown Association, ACAB, Antifa, you guys, you want to go to fucking war? You think you're going to uh, tear our lives apart because, uh, what, uh, you didn't get the right coffee at Starbucks? <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> You want to go to war? Yeah, all right. Pick a place and a time. We'll go to war. And it's not always going to be important. <laughs> or Vancouver. Anyways, all right. All right. I'm better now. I, I just, I'm going to go. I just, I cannot. Anyway, uh, stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can. If you can't, take care of yourself. Like a fart in a G-string. I'm out of here. Hey, LARPers. Ooh, <laughs> fuck out of here.